Hello YouTube, it's Tuesday again and that means that I've got four new tweaks to show you that we thought were cool enough to be showed off on our channel. I'm going to be going over each of these, telling you how much it costs, where you can find it, and let's get started with the first of these, it's a free tweet called Message Box. You may have seen our video on this a couple days ago on our channel, and for those of you that haven't been following the news, it basically emulates Facebook chat heads on iOS, which basically means that you can access your Facebook chats from anywhere you want. You can see that I have this icon on the side of my screen, uh, and that's what's known as a chat head. It basically allows you to tap it at any time, you can drag it around the screen, and you can open up your Facebook chats. You can also open up a new chat with someone by tapping this, which allows you to also see all your other chats that are open with people, and you just tap it again to close it. This can be dragged all around the screen. For a more in-depth view of Facebook chat heads on iOS, you can check out our in-depth video linked down in the description. Like I said, this is free and it is found on the Big Boss repo. And now let's move on to our second tweak, which is called Emphasize. Once again, Emphasize is a free tweak, and you can find it in the Big Boss repository. I'm going to be showing it off in the settings because it's where it's most apparent. If you look at the top, you can see that my navigation bar is red instead of the conventional bluish gray that Apple provides by default. And essentially what Emphasize does is it allows you to change a lot of tints that you can have on your device. So the conventional color scheme is overridden by the choices that you have. The default is what it will always be set to unless you specify it otherwise. And you can see you have a bunch of different choices of color. Right now I have it set to scarlet red, but we can choose a bunch of different ones like hot pink, changes it to that. And uh, another one of my favorites, which is the graphite, which provides sort of a gray look if you like the more monotone look of that. And you can choose colors for all the different apps that you might be using it in. So you can set a different color for each app just to enhance the, the feel of the coloring and the, the theme for each app individually if you want something different. It works pretty seamlessly and I'm really impressed with all the different colors that they have. Nothing really stands out too much as an odd color. I think it's a very good array. They've got butter, orange, chocolate, basically a whole spectrum of colors that you can choose from until you find the one you like. Once again, Emphasize is free in Cydia, and you're going to have to add the rpetrich beta repo, which you can find down in the description. I believe it's rpetri.ch slash repo is the URL for the rpetrich beta repo, and you can find it free once you add that repo. The next two tweaks I want to show you both live on the lock screen, so I'm going to be showing you those one at a time and showing you what each one does. The first one is called lock screen toggles, and essentially what it does is since so SV settings is not immediately accessible from the lock screen by default, it adds a feature where you can swipe to the time and it will bring you to the, the toggles. This brings up stuff like Wi-Fi, it'll bring you a uh, LED flashlight right on the lock screen that you can use. You can turn on Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, as well as that, which will restart your springboard. So this is just a quick way to access a bunch of toggles and it is very well integrated. I have not noticed a bug that makes it uh, put the time behind enter passcode like that, but other than that there's not really any issues that I've noticed with it and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does cost one dollar, or actually 99 cents, in the Big Boss repository, but you can just search lock screen toggles one word to find it. Um, and for all the other ones you can find their names up in the name of this video or down in the description. The final tweak I want to show you is called LS Scrubbing and it provides a great piece of functionality that I'm surprised someone hasn't come up with before. Basically what it does is if we access our music controls, right now we don't have anything playing, but if we go ahead and hit play, and right now the volume is all the way down so we don't get sued for copyright infringement or anything, you can see in addition to the volume bar we have a second bar. And all that does is allows you to scrub through the song. So you can see we can scrub all the way through till we reach the end and it'll play through the end and continue playing and show us our next song and basically it just lets you scrub through your music from the lock screen and it's a great piece of functionality like I said I'm very surprised that someone hasn't come out with it before because it is extremely useful and I definitely recommend it it is two dollars in the Big Boss repository so it is a bit of a more expensive tweak as tweaks go but I think it's a very useful feature and I definitely recommend you consider checking it out so that concludes the four tweaks that we have for you today we recommend that you at least download and try the two free ones and consider downloading the two paid ones, that's Lock Screen Toggles and LS Scrubbing. You can find all the names down in the description or up in the title. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.